Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and this video is meant to be a primer on the military discipline style used by the crew, as well as to cover mottos and battle cries and a number of other orders that are going to come up at any and all of the events that I attend um, in the future. Now, the crew is a paramilitary organization. We are professional mercenaries. We actually incorporated as a private security company eventually. And as such, we do follow a fairly rigid form of military discipline. We have a command structure. There are officers. There are NCOs. There are salutes. There are battle cries and all of that. There's marching in formation and whatnot. Be and the reason we do that is because it works. There's a reason every military th since Rome and probably long before then have done that. It works. The efficiency that it creates is a force multiplier, and we do it in the game because, quite frankly, it's fun. Many of us enjoy that kind of military reenactment, that, that structure that being a part of a professional military gives you. But it isn't something that's going to be truly required by the auxiliary. The auxiliary is an extension of the crew, and therefore, if you wish to follow all that same military discipline, you are perfectly welcome to and encouraged to because it will make things run smoother, it will make things more efficient, and for those of you that enjoy that sort of thing, it will make it a lot more fun. Not everybody is into that, and I don't expect you to be just to be a part of the auxiliary. If that is simply not the game that you're wanting to play, you can let me know, you can let your officers know, and we have other options, other places that we can use people who aren't into quite the same structured military reenactment that the crew is. The auxiliary is not meant to force you into um, being paramilitary and all of that if that is simply not your game style. That's fine. We will find ways to make your game style work and, and to use you and to make the game more fun for you in whatever style we can as much as we possibly can. But for those of you that are into all that sort of military discipline, that's what this video is going to cover, starting with addressing officers. The crew has six levels of officers, and so does the auxiliary. We have Lance Corporal, Corporal, Sergeant, Sergeant Major, Lieutenant, and Captain. We may add more as time goes on if needed, but that is where we're going to start. Lieutenant and Captain are commissioned officers and are therefore referred to as Sir. That is the title that is granted them. You can also call them by their rank, Lieutenant, Captain, um, you can call me Cap, you can call me Xavier, you can call me whatever. Um, if I'm in character and I have a black hat on, I, you know, and I'm, I'm actually in the field pretending to be Captain Xavier, as my character is, I would prefer that you call me, you know, Xavier at the very least, rather than Chalo, because that kind of, you know, suspends the disbelief of professional zombie hunter or whatnot, whatever character I'm currently playing. Um, and the same goes for most of my lieutenants. So, Lieutenant Wolfric, Wolfric is not his real name. That is his character that he plays in all of the various places where the crew plays. Kyle actually is Sergeant Major Kyle's name. He actually is a sergeant in the National Guard. So there's nothing pretend about what he's doing. Uh, the professional zombie killer, of course, we're pretending to kill zombies. Uh, but same goes for you know any of the officers that will be created. Um, go with the title that they've asked to be called because we are playing a game. We are doing essentially LARP. Um, HVZ is a form of LARP, and so you should get into it. If you're going to be playing the game, play the game. Enjoy the game. Have fun with the game. Play with your character. Have a character. Um, and acknowledge other people's characters. Non-commissioned officers, the Lance Corporals, Corporals, Sergeant, and Sergeant Majors, you don't call sir. Calling Kyle sir will get you yelled at. It's an imperial offense in the Empire of Adria. Um, you call them by their, their rank. Sergeant Major, Sergeant, what have you. Um, and again... As members of the Auxiliary, I don't truly expect you to call people by their ranks. It'd be nice for the reasons that I gave. You know, they, they have worked for it. Most of my, especially the crew officers, they've been fighting for years uh, with me, and they have earned those ranks many times over. Ones that have been granted to the Auxiliary, they may be first-time events. We don't know. And you may feel that they need to prove themselves. But don't be actively antag antagonistic to officers. Don't, you know argue with officers, especially not in combat, because that's just going to get people tagged and turned into Zeds. So if you have an issue with an officer, like a serious non-game issue, um, bring it to me. Bring it to the sergeant major. Bring it to the lieutenant. Uh, don't start a fight. Don't fester over it. Don't worry about us not taking you seriously. We will address it if we've, you know, in, we will investigate. We will talk to the person. We will find out what's going on. And we will we'll deal with it. That is our job. That is the whole point of this, is to make the games more fun. So if something is going on that you don't like, you bring it to us. Or you bring it to an officer. So, basic, you know, respect for those who have been put into positions of authority. But 
I do expect them to earn it, and I do expect them to 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 live up to the authority that's been granted to them. So keep that in mind. Now, saluting. Neither the crew nor the auxiliary does a full held military salute of any kind because we're not that kind of organization. We do, however, do a basic salute for acknowledgement of officers or NCOs or anybody else that you feel like acknowledging. And it's a closed fist thumb out that you just touch to your forehead as they pass. It's not held. You don't have to wait for them to salute back in order to, to carry on with whatever you're doing. If you're wearing a hat that has a brim of some kind, then it's three fingers and you just touch the hat. Same thing, just as the officer passes or as you're passing the officer, they would go by, we acknowledge, they would acknowledge back and they would just keep going. It's not one of those where as they come up, you're all required to snap to it and if he doesn't acknowledge it, then you're stuck. We don't do that because that's ridiculous uh, for what we do. Fist, thumb out, knuckle to the forehead, index finger, middle finger, touch the brim of your hat. Very simple. And again, it's a matter of showing respect. If you want to show them respect, then feel free. If you don't, you don't have to. Uh, there will be no disciplinary action or you will never be reprimanded for failing to salute an officer or anything like that. Uh, that's just not something the crew has ever done. Uh, you show respect if you feel like showing respect. If you don't feel like it, then we clearly haven't done our jobs well enough and we will continue to try to do better. The purpose of the rally cry is to allow an officer to get the attention of the entire company all at once and to make sure everybody hears them and knows that orders are about to be given. It's used for briefings before an event. It's used for mission updates in the middle of an event. It's used for the debriefing at the end of the event. It's used for a lot of different places, but it's, it's intended to get everybody's attention at once. It is a call and response order, so... Myself or my lieutenant or my sergeant major will yell as loud as we can, All right, you scum! And your response is to stop whatever you are doing, unless you're in the middle of a fight, in which case, keep fighting. Turn towards whoever said it, and yell as loud as you can, and hopefully as much as in unison, I, as loud as possible. And it looks something like this. All right, you scum! I! The purpose, as stated, is to get everyone's attention. Those who hear me give the rally cry will respond, and everyone who didn't hear the rally cry will almost certainly hear the response. Because when 50, 60 people yell I all at once, you notice. And then they know that, you know, something's going down, they need to report, there's a briefing going on, what have you. And it gets everyone's attention, and everybody's very quiet, and I don't have to spend, you know, a minute going, Quiet down, quiet down, shut up, and officer's going, Listen to the captain, officer on deck, no. I yell, all right, you scum, you respond, I, and the, and, and we're done with it. And it, it works very, very well, and it sounds really cool. It's never going to get old hearing people respond to that. Bonus points to anyone who can tell me where that phrase comes from. I've been using it since I returned from the Bristol Ren Fair, where their rally cry was, Gentlemen, have a care! But the crew were pirates, mercenaries. Our swords were for sale. Our loyalty was buyable. We were scum. And so it fit very well for us. But please understand that if I'm calling you scum in that context, it is the highest honor that I give to anybody because that means you are part of my crew, you are part of my family, and I will fight beside you any day, anywhere. The motto and battle cry of the crew is Vos Volo Bellum, Vos Adepto Bellum, which translates to, if it's war you want, it is war you will get which is meant as both a threat and an offer. It's a threat because if you start a war with us, you're gonna get a war from us. But if you want to hire us for a war, we will give you a war. And that sort of dual meaning is the sort of thing we bards just love. And it is a call and response as well. I would yell, Vos Volo Bellum, and the crew would respond, Vos Adepto Bellum, as loud as possible and in unison because it sounds really cool. The battle cry of the auxiliary will, of course, be Bangarang. And it's also call and response. I, or whoever the CO is at the time, will yell bangerang, and the whole auxiliary will respond bangerang, because it sounds really cool. Bangerang does, of course, come from Hook. It was the battle cry of the Lost Boys, which I think is incredibly fitting for the auxiliary and for people who are into the nerf hobby in general, because we clearly have refused to truly grow up. 
and it helps remind us that this is a game, that this is meant to be fun. And so I wanted a battle cry that reflected that, and when that one was, was recommended, it fit absolutely perfectly. So I'm glad that we that, that happened, because I probably would have come up with something much more serious sounding, and it, it just wouldn't have been as good. The motto of the auxiliary is Magus Amet Omnibus. More fun for everyone. And that is the, the true spirit of the reason I created the Auxiliary and, and where I'm hoping it will go. I want it to be a force within the community that makes everything more fun. The encouragement of fair play, of sportsmanship, of being inviting and being you know, encouragement to anybody who wants to join our hobby. <clears throat> as well as organizing ourselves to help the events run smoother. <clears throat> And helping the events themselves run smoother, getting, showing up early and helping set up, staying late and helping tear down, um, organizing anything that we can to make the, the event smoother for the moderators because there's never enough of them. And so anything we can do to, to help them will make the event run smoother and will it, you know, give them reason to enjoy us being there and to, to make the event more fun for us, to include us, to give us you know, options. And it, it'll be loads of fun. So there's a basic primer on the military discipline as used by the crew as well as the mottos and battle cries and all of that that uh, everybody should need to know no matter how you plan to play the game these things should be useful thank you for watching bangerang <laughs>